Aloha and mahalo for joining me here on Restaurants Hawaii on the Think Tech platform. My name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. And today we're giving you a sneak preview on what will be featured at our Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. First of all, Gerald, could you introduce yourself? Sure. Aloha, Cheryl. Uh, my name is Gerald Shintaku. And I'm the director of events for Star Events, which is a division of Wahoo Publications Incorporated and the proud producer of the upcoming show that we're talking about today. Thank you, Gerald. Always good to have you on. And Randy, could you please introduce yourself? Hi, Cheryl. Um, I'm Randy Sagan, and I'm from Coca-Cola Balin of Hawaii. I am the sales manager for the food service and on-premise division. And we are so excited and honored to be back here with HRA. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to have you on, Randy, and it's always great to see you at this show. So the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show is Hawaii's official hospitality trade show, and we are back. The show is actually an encore for more exhibitors and more um, attendees to enjoy what's going on and what's compelling and new, all the new technologies in our food service industry. Um, the date is March 22nd and 23rd. And what I'm going to do is I'll let Gerald first kind of recap 2022 and, you know, what we had and what they people have to look forward to in 2023. Gerald? Thank you, Cheryl. Absolutely. So our dates, as Cheryl mentioned, March 22nd and 23rd. We're going to be at the White Convention Center again. This year, we have the large hall. We're going to be in Exhibit Hall 1, which is significantly larger than we've been in the previous years. Last year, our show was a little later in March in hall number two, and we had about oh, a little over 3,000 attendees, maybe 200 booths. Um, this was, we we're just coming out of COVID, so people were still a little tentative coming back out in the public. But we feel in 2023 here, in a few weeks, people are going to be coming out to see what's the latest technologies, products, and services that are available to both not only the food service industry, but the hospitality industry, because along with the Hawaii Restaurant Association, we also partnered with the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Group Association, big part of you know, our industries uh, in Hawaii. Both associations represent a lot of businesses here. So uh, we'll have the latest and the greatest in uh, products and services available to service these industries. And as you know, right now, I mean, we're struggling to get back. We, you know, we're short on labor. Uh, we need to have you know, new technologies to help with um, offset some of the issues or challenges that these industries have right now. And so you'll see a good array of uh, companies coming out to share what they have to offer. Thank you, Gerald. Yes, March 22nd and 23rd is a major networking event for our whole hospitality and food service industry. And today we're going to be discussing, discussing why exhibitors should reserve a booth today. Because, as Gerald said, in 2022, we were sold out. And so we're looking at right now being sure that everyone knows that registration for a booth is open. So I have an exhibitor here who was with us in 2022 and to get his feedback as to why 22 was a success and why he's looking forward to being an exhibitor in 2023. Randy? Thanks, Cheryl. Um, yeah, it's just so good to be back for one, right? Uh, COVID really hurt our industry, uh, not just the tourism, but the restaurants suffered. Uh, and in turn, our channel really suffered as uh, we were coming out of COVID here. Uh, what the show did for us was it got us back in the face of our restaurateurs. It got us back into the face of our, our partners, such as like uh, you know, food purveyors that we could meet with to strengthen our bonds really out there. So we really uh, appreciated seeing everybody for one, right? Face to face again, shaking hands, talking about our products, and also getting those leads to get more, to see the opportunity for more business out there. Exactly, and I love coming to your booth only, Randy, because you are always so generous. You always let me know what's the newest flavors and what's the newest drinks that you have there. And you were mentioning that you even have a new, what exactly is it? Is it a converter? Is it a? Uh, the Prism Valve. Yeah, it's for your fountain equipment out there. So a lot of our restaurants, right, uh, they pour out syrup. Uh, and they're limited to their six valve or their eight valve fountain machines. So what this prism valve does is it expands 
their flavor profiles. They can add more flavors on the valves uh, without changing the fountain equipment out or, you know, change because space is a high commodity in restaurants, right? And you don't want to bring in something that's big and bulky or, or reinstall something. So this prison valve really helps them offer more to their customers because uh, our customers are ever changing as well uh, without changing really a lot in your restaurant. I love it because as you mentioned, you want to have as many offerings for your um, your guests as possible. And the more selection they have, it's even better, right? And so this is a great um, innovative adjustment. Is that what I call? It's an adjustment to their Ad already addition, existing- I guess. Yeah, addition, addition, I guess you would call it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I love it. I love it. And then always, you all always have new flavors, new um, new products that you demonstrate over at the show. So everyone, don't forget to stop by and see Randy. Say hi. Tell him you saw him on Think Tech. So for <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> so for Gerald, you know, part of the draw for this show is also the seminars. So many educational seminars that our industry, it's free seminars. You know, this whole show really for all attendees is for is free for our industry. So, Gerald, do you want to cover some of the seminars that you're looking forward to having this year? Absolutely, Cheryl. You know, first off, you know, it's, it's a show full of exhibitors. So they're going to show off their products and services. They'll have sampling, lots of sampling. So, you know, Cisco Hawaii is back again as our, our major sponsor of the show. They'll have almost 30 booths there. And they'll have some of their partner brokers and, and teams there to sample all the latest and greatest in um, food and, and drinks. Uh, Domino's Hawaii is back again. So Domino's is going to be serving up a little bit of Domino's pizza. And uh, they'll be there in a large presence. Uh, UHA Health Insurance will also be there to do a brunch or uh, a continental breakfast both mornings for people that do come to the show. But you're absolutely right. So the exhibitors not only can exhibit their product, but we also want this to be educational and worthwhile in terms of educating them, bringing them back up to speed in terms of what the latest and greatest rules and regulations are, whether it's the Liquor Commission or, uh, you know, health and safety, uh, safety, uh, helping them manage stress. You know, if there's, um, we, we went, recently we went into some pretty heavy stress periods. So we'll have some seminars in relation to helping them with some of those areas. And then talking about the laws, you know, what's the latest and greatest laws that help govern the associations that we're into right now. And just talk about productivity. How can we manage productivity? How can we get people? And I know labor is still an issue with uh, with within the industry. So we hope to have a seminar, something educational to help people share how to, you know, recruit uh, uh, people in, uh, for the uh, for their jobs. Um, can I also share that? Um, I know we didn't get into it yet, but because we know that, you know, most of the businesses aren't back 100%. For those that have signed up before that have been part of our show in, in 2019 as well as last year, uh, we're still extending our early bird special till the end of January. So if you were an exhibitor in the previous shows, please, if you don't have a form, please contact Cheryl or we'll send you some, we'll put some information up on the screen here. Please come back and uh, we'll hold the prices that we've held last year for you because we want you to come back. And that's really going to help our businesses, Gerald, as Randy said, right? We do everything we can just to support our industry. One of the items that Gerald and I were speaking about earlier, Randy, is an app. And everybody's on their phones and everybody uses apps. So this app is going to be something that Randy would use, right, Gerald? Absolutely. So what we've integrated into the program this year is we've, we've, signed, we've gotten uh, enlisted the services of a, an app. Uh, which will ask, will instruct everybody how to load them on the on their phones. And as they walk throughout the hall, if you're an exhibitor, um, you'll get a chance to connect with potential clients or re-engage with clients maybe you haven't seen earlier. You know, as Joe mentioned, it's a great opportunity. Or Randy um, mentioned, it's a great opportunity for them to reconnect with their, um, you know, their clients. And so this lead generation is part of this app, and they'll be able to reconnect as well as potentially, you know, get into uh, meeting other people. And I know Coca-Cola is a large company, but there might be a couple of folks out there that, you know, haven't seen this new feature that um, that Randy just spoke of and are interested in getting more information of it. So this um, lead generation will help connect uh, both Randy's company and uh, the folks that might be interested in seeing this new feature that he talked about. 
Uh, and so they can discuss it either at the show or set up a meeting for, you know, sometime after the show. It's all about, you know, connecting people uh, to improve their service that they can offer to their customers that come into their stores or hotels or restaurants. Thank you, Gerald. And, you know, I'm going to ask Randy. Randy, you were there in 2022 and in 2019. I want you to share with um, exhibitors, especially if they're not sure whether or not they should get a booth. You know, some are new this year. I have uh, one of my dear, dear friends has a robot company. And he was like, who's going to attend the show? Like, who is the people that are potential clients. So Randy, I'm going to go through the list. I remember seeing not only hotels, not only restaurants. I remember seeing state, like um, where you're sitting right now is at a state property. I remember seeing people from the city and county. I remember seeing even people from like federal. So share with us some of the different um, people that were actually walking through the aisles as attendees so that our other exhibitors has an idea of, you know, who their potential clients could be that are coming to see the show yeah well I'm, I'm sitting here right at the university of hawaii right now one of our biggest assets for coca-cola right now um yeah you have people from the state coming from each of the campuses they'll be walking around city and county was big i saw a bunch of people from the city and county there um we've got people from you know they're associated with seeing come by the aquarium i mean just you name it people are walking through to see what kind of services are out there and how they can improve their business. So I love this event. Why? Why? Because we can network with people. And that, that's kind of how our business is in Hawaii. We need to network. And the, the more people you can network, I mean, the better your business will be. So take advantage of it, people. Um, get a booth. Come try my drinks. We got so much more innovation coming out. Um, just to mention, too, I do have an app as well that we, will, we just introduced as far as for an ordering system called Bees. So maybe I'll be featuring that as well. I'll bring some, uh, maybe a video and um, show people how they can order on bees. It's just another way that we can do business in Hawaii quicker, faster, right? And, and really be engaged with all our customers here. That's perfect, Randy. I'm so glad you're here on the show today. As Gerald knows, the Hawaii Restaurant Association's booth will be right up front. So I'm going to welcome everyone, if you're an exhibitor, to please stop by the HRA booth. Uh, many of our members will always come by to get a ribbon, and we put the ribbon on the badge that says that they're a proud HRA member. Randy knows I'll put a, a little uh, picture frame that says proud member of the Hawaii Restaurant Association in his booth. And then we walk around the show and we get to meet everyone. And like Randy said, we're a very close-knit industry. Everybody knows each other. And then you get to go to all the booths and see what's new in technology and what's all innovative. You know, in 2022, um, Gerald, the robots were pretty, how can I say this, popular? Big hit. Big hit. You know, you folks faced the labor issue and uh, yeah, the robotics folks came in. And I think we have another company that's going to come in this year to show how they can help the restaurant association with their labor challenges. You know, so I think it's wonderful. You know, let me just add, Cheryl, this time. You know, so what we'll do is, you know, we want the exhibitors to feel that this is their show. It's their show. And so if they have a list of clients or customers that they want to invite and make sure they get there, we'll add them to our list of attendees. We do ask the attendees to register ahead of time, pre-register. The show is absolutely free. But if they want to send me their list of um, people that they want specifically to invite to the show, we'll add them to our attendee list and make sure they get all the email and communication about the show and the details about the show. So we want them to be a part of this. It's their show. Um, and we want them to feel that, you know, uh, that we're working together on this together. I love that. And, you know, Joe will tell you because, you know, he's been at the past shows that a lot of people that come through the show, you know, are really looking to see what's new always. And as I mentioned, robots were the hit in 2022. Robots are back in 2023. Gerald, what other types of innovative um Boots will we be seeing? I know that you also in the past had had people from out of state fly in specifically for this show. Absolutely. We have a company coming in, a number of companies coming in from the mainland. We've got a bakery coming in from Japan. Uh, we've got some new distributors or new um, companies coming in from all over the place, you know. And in terms of product line, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a new industry, but people like Sustainable Island Products and KYB Inc. 
they have new packaging that's available for you know for use uh, we've got the bank of hawaii coming in and, and offering what their latest services are that they can offer to the the restaurant supply uh, uh folks as well as hotel folks we've got a number of companies that Hawaii coffee company is going to come in and serve some coffee uh pro touch systems uh, you know uh, merchant services is a big deal so we'll have a couple of companies showing off the latest and greatest in merchant services that uh that businesses can offer so yes it's it's a constantly turning as you know it's a, such an innovative um you know area that uh, that we are in and it's constantly changing and upgrading and um and so you'll see some exciting real exciting things coming up in our show in a few weeks yes gerald how many weeks away cheryl i sure wasn't <laughs> shocked today when you told me is it six weeks away pretty close so you know march 22nd and 23rd will come around the corner like very quickly so we're working hard to make sure this is this comes together. It's always exciting. So what people have to look forward to is, like you said, a, a continental breakfast. Is that what I heard? Yes. Yeah, so both mornings for about an hour, UHA Health Insurance will offer, uh, a, you know, continental breakfast some coffee and pastries um, to get people going in the morning. They'll also yeah. offer that to the exhibitors. So exhibitors that have been there tirelessly working, setting up their boots, they can have a little jolt of coffee and um, get them going. Uh, but yes, you know, so don't wait any longer. You know, like I said, the early spurt special for those that are returning exhibitors ends at the end of January. And then for the overall show, we'll close up the boot sales at the end of February. That's just right around the corner. Like I said, got a lot. We still have a number of good spaces available. So, you know, if you don't have an application, refer to the, uh, the uh, information that's going to be coming up here pretty soon on the, uh, the board and make sure you uh, get a form or touch base with Hawaii Restaurant Association or Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association and get a copy of the form. Thank you. So gentlemen, I just really, I wanna discuss also some of the other benefits of why people attend this show is because um, exhibitors get a booth at this show is because the people who attend this show, the attendees are all from our industry. Gerald does a great job that it doesn't allow people outside of our industry who are just, Gerald, how do I say it? They just want to come by and, you know, take the free pens and eat the pizza and drink the coffee, but they really have nothing to do with our industry. How do I say this nicely of how you um, screen them at the registration desk? How do you say that? Correct. When we, when folks register, we just, we ask them, you know, what their occupation is, what company they work for. And yeah, like you mentioned, we want them to be aligned with both associations. Um, while we appreciate people that consume the products that, that are being offered at the show, um, we want to make sure that it's truly a business to business type of a, a opportunity. You know, the exhibitors spend a lot of time and resources being there. Um, and we want to make sure that they have an opportunity to, uh, to really show what they have to offer to companies that are coming in, people that are coming in to attend the show. And we've heard so many success stories in the past of partnerships that, that have developed at our show just because we've had some really good, serious exhibitors, talk story. And as Randy mentioned, you know, it's all about that relationship. Talk story with an attendee that have come in and develop either new recipes or new areas where, you know, some of these exhibitors, the companies that come in can, um, can realign themselves. So it's, um, it's truly, well, we want to make sure that it's a quality uh, business event with proven results exactly randy you know what i'm talking about when you have a show and it's just people coming by just to drink you know free soda and really and truly they have no you know business that they could purchase your products through so this show is a really quality show and gerald does such a great job ensuring that at the front desk at the registration that everyone there either has a business card and is related to our industry versus um, people that really don't have any business and they're just looking for a free Coca-Cola. So Randy knows what I'm talking about, right, Randy? No, absolutely. Um, we're willing, obviously, to let people, everybody, right, sample our product. We, we love people to try everything that we have. But yeah, we're, we're looking for good connections out there as well, you know, and it goes beyond just... Uh, just us selling our and distributing our product, right? I like to connect 
a business with another business. Maybe you have digital needs, right? Hey, let's go see those guys from Pacific Digital. Let's see if we can get you brand, uh, brand new digital boards, right? Get your menu up there. Let's do some graphics. There's so many different connections that we can do there. Um, you know, whatever, whatever the needs are, right? Uh, for your business to move forward. This show has it. This show really has it. Thank you, Randy. All right, so we've got a few more minutes. I'm gonna ask Randy if there's anything else that I missed that you wanted to mention on this show about what's coming up and what's new and why people should come to the Coca-Cola booth. Well, we are uh, Coca-Cola Bottle in Hawaii. We're part of the Odom family, which uh, we also acquired, acquired Anheuser-Busch, so that's AB Hawaii. Uh, we will probably have a joint booth again. Uh, so not where you just see the Coca-Cola products, but you also have the Anheuser-Busch side of the business too, which would be, it's, it's always a good thing when we, we come together as a family, the Oda Mohana. Um, and as you know, Cheryl, when you come, we, we come with, you come with, we come with uh, open arms, right? We, we bring you in and we let you taste the product. We give you some swag, right? We talk story and we really want that deep connection because uh, like Gerald said, too, relationships are so important in Hawaii, and we value all of our uh, current partners and partners that actually we have an opportunity with. We value all that business. Thank you, and thank you for being on the show. Gerald, before we sign off, is there anything else that you want to add to all of the companies who are deciding whether or not they want to be an exhibitor? What should they do? Well, um, you know, it's not an exclusive event. So just because one company's there doesn't mean that you can't come in with your product or service. We want it to be a competitive event uh, and, you know, show off what you've got too. You know, whether it's a beverage item, you know, we've got a number of water companies coming in. We've got Pepsi coming in. Um, you know, it's not exclusive to one. We want to make sure that the folks that are attending the show get a taste of what's new across the whole industry. So um, don't be left out. You know, if you know your competitors coming in, you better be there also. And, you know, maybe come in in a bigger way because you want to make sure that your product is seen, your product is tasted, your services. People understand what your services that you're offering. But we've had a vast, we have a vast array of, uh, you know, fields of people that are coming in to the show. So don't be left out. Don't wait. Send in your application right away so you can hold a booth space. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, gentlemen, I just want to recap this all. Remember, the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show is coming up on March 22nd and 23rd. And not only will you be able to see all the different vendors and exhibitors, you also will get um, an opportunity to attend the educational seminars. We also will have an app, and it's a lead generation app for those who are um, having boots there at the show. And like always, it's all about the networking. You know, in Hawaii, that's what it's all about, building that relationship. So again, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. I wanna thank the two gentlemen who have joined me today and to remind everyone that the Hawaii Restaurant Association is the voice of Hawaii's restaurants and food service industry. If you'd like to know more about us, please visit us at our website. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.